Hello students, today we will be solving the question answers of the chapter sound and these questions I will be taking only from the NCRT. So, that means we are going to solve NCRT now ok. So, let us begin with the question answers of the sound from the textbook which textbook children from NCRT I am taking now I am talking about now first question shall we begin now ok. So, choose the correct answer is the first question choose the correct answer. Now, when this sound can travel through ok sound can travel travel through and here they have given the options. So, A is gases only B solids only C liquids only and D solids liquids and gases. So, it is the most simplest thing after uh, studying sound this can be the most easiest question which can be asked is not it that sound travels through what only solids only liquids only gases or in uh, you know um, it can travel through all three. So, we know that children sound can travel in all like it sound needs medium to travel is not it sound cannot travel without medium and sound can travel through solid also liquids also and gases also. So, our correct option will be children D is not it. So, it will be solids liquids and gases ok numbers ok this one is only first ok. So, first D is the correct answer what is given solids liquids and gases ok. So, solids liquids and gases is the correct answer because we know sound needs medium to travel and sound can travel through all the solids also liquids also and gases also is not it. Now, let us talk about the question number 2 children which of the following verses is likely to have minimum frequency ok. So, again I will read it which of the following verses is likely to have minimum frequency they have given the option children A baby girl B baby boy C a man and D a woman and we very well we know the children that the frequency what is the question uh, which of the following voices is likely to have minimum frequency. So, obviously men's voice will have minimum frequency is not it. So, what we will write children men's voice this option is C ok. So, what is the option a man. So, now we will talk about the next question children it is question number 3 in the following statement tick T against those which are true and just true and false ok. So, we are supposed to write true for the correct sentence or T for the correct sentence and F for the false statements ok. So, let us begin with the question number 3 children uh, I will just mark over here now we are going to discuss question number 3 ok. So, in 3 question number in 3 I am reading A 1 ok sound cannot travel in vacuum again I will read children sound cannot travel in vacuum just now we discussed is not it and just now I told that sound needs medium to travel it cannot travel in vacuum is not it. So, sound tra cannot travel in vacuum will be the correct statement and so it will be a true is not it because sound cannot travel in vacuum light can travel in vacuum is not it. In one of the chapter we will be reading about the light also that uh, you know many things about the light. So, now what is this when we talk about sound it cannot travel in vacuum it needs medium to travel either it can be solid or liquid or gases ok. Now, come to the B 1 children the number of oscillations per second of a vibrating object is called its time period ok. Let me read it once again children I will repeat I am repeating it the number of oscillations 
per second of a vibrating object is called its time period okay so uh, what it will be children it is the b1 and obviously it will be false children why why it will be false because this is frequency isn't it the number of oscillations uh, what they have given the number of oscillations per second so number of oscillation per second is only frequency isn't it so this is not a definition of the time period and so it is an incorrect statement and so i have written over here b false okay now we'll talk about the c if the amplitude of vibration is large sound is feeble okay what they are asking if the amplitude of vibration is large hmm? if the amplitude is large children then the sound should also be large we have studied this thing also that bigger the amplitude louder the sound is isn't it but they have given ulta so sound is feeble so again this one also be this one will be also false so this one is c children and obviously this is also false okay now come to d children for human ears the audible range is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz thank god they have given again a true statement isn't it that a uh, man a person can hear sound ranging between what 20 hertz to 20000 hertz if the sound is below 20 hertz person cannot hear at the same time if it is more than 20000 hertz again the person cannot hear isn't it so what is this for human ears the audible range is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz so which is this this one is d and this one is the correct statement isn't it so this is d and d is true now now we'll talk about the e1 fifth one okay the lower the frequency of vibration the higher is the pitch again i'm reading it children the lower the frequency of vibration the higher is the pitch is the false answer isn't it just now we have discussed about the pitch of the van isn't it so it is just related to that only so the lower the frequency of vibration the higher is the pitch no if the frequency is low how the pitch can be high isn't it so e i will write this side children e is or even i can write over here e is again a false one okay now unwanted or unpleasant sound is termed as music very incorrect children unwanted or unpleasant sound is see here there is a big you know um, see uh, when we talk about uh, the book obviously this one is false but when you, when you ask me see a music uh, uh, you know a song which, which, which is a song for you can be a noise for me okay because I hate loud music okay but i know you people might be liking uh, well i know that the the youngsters they like you know the uh, music loud music and all these things so for me it can be a contradictory sentence but yeah when we are talking about solving the ncrt solving about your questions so definitely unwanted or unpleasant sound is termed as music no music is what music is something which follows the rules okay and a, uh, a you know fixed path is there you know change in vibe, like a frequency is also like it is particular in a, it, it happens in a particular way okay so whenever this uh, the sound is what it is unpleasant and unwanted uh, it is what children it is music no not at all children i was just kidding that time okay so this is what unwanted or unpleasant sound is termed as music and f is false F is false. Okay. So it is what unpleasant or unwanted sound is termed as what children? It should be termed as noise. Now, now we are discussing G, last one. Noise pollution may cause partial hearing impairment. Very, very correct, isn't it? If the noise is uh, very high, it is, you know, if a person uh, come across 
uh, you know particle uh, sound of a particular range uh, for more hours continuous, continuously then definitely there uh, will be certain problems is it maybe uh, hearing problem maybe headache maybe nausea maybe you know some uh, different kind of um, disorders so this one is perfectly correct sentence children so we are talking about g and g is true so this was our question number 2 which was true and false okay question number 2 no question number 3 children question number 3 yes this one is question number 3 which is what it is true and false now now we'll discuss about fill in the blank children so it will be our question number 4 okay this will be our question number 4 and it will be our fill in the blanks fill in the blanks now time taken by an object to complete one oscillation again I am reading it time taken by an object to complete one oscillation is just now we have studied ok so what it is known as time period is not it. So uh, this one is question number 4 children and we are discussing A. So time taken by an object to complete one oscillation is known as its time period. So A time period. Okay, now let us talk about B children, loudness is determined by the dash of vibration, ok just now we discussed this thing is not it amplitude, so loudness is determined by the dash of an vibration, so children this one is B and the correct answer is amplitude. Now, unit of frequency, we all know what is the unit of frequency children, again I will read it, the unit of frequency is what? It is hertz, is not it? Uh, unit of frequency is what children? It is hertz. Now, we will come to, we will talk about, we will talk about D now. Unwanted sound, just now we discussed, unwanted sound, unpleasant sound is known as noise ok the sound which we do not want the sound which is hammering the sound which is unpleasant the sound which we do not uh, which is not pleasant ok it is irritating us so that is what that is noise is not it now come to the next one children shrillness of a sound is determined by the dash of the vibrations. Shrillness means what? Frequency, is not it? So, shrillness of a sound is determined by the dash of the vibration. So, obviously it is what children? It is frequency. So, this one is E and E is frequency. Okay. Now, I think this one was the last one children, yeah this one was the last one children this one uh, this is all about the fill the blanks question number 4. Now please note this down and we will be talking about the next question that is question number 5th. Now we will talk about next question children, so question number uh, now question number 7. Identify the part which vibrates to produce sound in the following instruments. Again I will repeat the question. Identify the part which vibrates to produce sound in the following instruments. It is first one they have given dolak, second they have given sitar and the third they have given flute. Okay. So when we talk about dolak children what is there in dolak? See that membrane is there, is not it? The dolak is having one membrane over there and we struck that membrane, is not it? So, when we talk about dolak, 
what is happening actually that membrane is vibrating when the dolak has been beaten that membrane vibrates and due to the vibration of that membrane that particular sound is produced okay next is uh sitar so when we talk about sitar children we all know sitar has got the strings and then when the strings are being plugged okay then it vibrates and due to the vibration of these strings the noise occurs isn't it so what is happening children see when we talk about dolak at the top of the dolak uh, the membranes are there okay membranes means when we talk about two dolak so membrane is there and when this membrane is been beaten it is going to produce what certain typical kind of sound when we talk about sitar guitar so what they have they have a one uh, string no maybe one maybe more okay depending upon the instrument okay so these strings when these strings vibrate so what happens the uh, the due to vibration the sound is produced now third instrument they are talking about flute okay so now what happens in the flute children see flute is actually uh, it is totally um, uh, hollow and when we blow air uh, air column is produced actually air vibrates isn't it now due to the vibration okay now this uh, vibrations are set up and due to this vibrations we can hear sound okay so we are clear about all three first is dolak what is happening in the case of dolak children one membrane is there at the top of the dolak when it is beaten then it produces a typical kind of sound when we talk about this the sitar it is an string uh, it is an string instrument and again when the string strings are being plugged then it will produce certain typical sound music i should say now third one is due to the when we blow the air air vibrates and again sound is produced okay so we are writing we are disc i am discussing answer number 7 okay so first is dholak so dholak has a membrane at the top which when beaten produces vibration and thus sound is produced now we will talk about b b is sitar sitar consist of strings which when plugged produces sound okay now the next is c and c is flute it is a hollow pipe and when air is blown when air is blown then what happens children see flute is what it is totally hollow and it has got certain holes 
and when we blow the air inside it okay when we blow the air inside it so what is happening that vibration is produced is it the air vibrates and due to which different and the holes are also there so different kind of sound is like you know like uh, i can say uh, sound is produced so why sound is produced it is a hollow pipe and when the air is blown inside it the vibration starts isn't it and we know whenever vibration will be there it is going to produce the pickle kind of sound air is blown inside the pipe vibrations are produced which is which causes sound okay so dolak membrane is vibrating so sound is produced sitar the strings are vibrating so uh, sound is produced and here air vibrates okay and that is the reason the sound is produced okay so this was our answer number 7th now we'll talk about the next answer children now uh okay so the next answer is uh this i do not think so will be able to fit over here so again i have to rub the board and then we will write the then we will discuss the answer number 8 okay so this was about answer number 7 and after this we will be discussing about the answer number 8 okay now let's talk about next question children next question is question number 8 now what is the difference between noise and music okay and uh, another part is also there can music become noise sometimes so this exactly which we discussed you know in uh, one of the question and i said that the noise uh, is what a noise is one which do not follow any kind of rules okay that means the when the vibrations are not regular when the and you know it also depends from person to person i'm answering now the second part of the answer that can the music can music uh, be sometime noise exactly what i was saying that the music okay which is a music for you can be sound for me okay can be just noise for me because it depends upon the choice it depends upon the tolerance okay how much can you bear now if you enjoy uh, you know loud music okay and uh, it's not at all necessary children that if you are enjoying loud music and definitely that is a music but it is not at all essential that every person can enjoy that okay so if you know loud music is played or some modern uh, you know some uh, you can understand what i mean to say if uh, loud music uh, is played in front of me even for more than 5 minutes it give it gives uh, you know severe headache to me so it depends from person to person and definitely the music can be sometime you know uh, be uh, it can become a noise it can become noise actually not a noise and first of all it depends from person to person it depends from the level of tolerance also patience your interest your likes okay and uh, when a person is in continuously in contact you know when a person is continuously hearing loud music then definitely it becomes noise isn't it so what was the question children what is the difference between noise and music okay the question is what is the difference between noise and music so answer number 8 when sound is produced with regular 
vibrations and it is pleasant to ears then it is called as what it is called as student it is called as music now how can we define sound just opposite to that noise okay when sound when sound is not produced okay with regular vibrations then it is called as what is called as student it is called as noise okay and the next part of this question is yes sometimes even what's the question uh, can music become noise sometimes yes even uh, yes sometimes even music can become noise if it is very loud and not of choice okay here you can elaborate the answer also okay that if it is not of choice it is like it depends upon the person to person okay tolerance level the uh, the time uh, uh, you know some person can even enjoy loud music but for shorter time so even it depends upon the time period till what a person can enjoy music isn't it so this is all about the question number 8 now we'll talk about the question number 9 before that i'll just read it out children when sound is produced with regular vibrations okay that means it follow certain rules we know that sare gama pa da ni sa isn't it certain notes are there it has to be followed so vibrations and it is pleasant to ears then it is called as music while when sound is not produced i have underlined not over there when sound is not produced with regular vibrations then it is called as noise and yes sometimes even music can become noise if it is very loud and not of choice isn't it so now we'll talk about next question question number 9 let me read the question number 9 okay uh, write down the sources of noise pollution in your surrounding so answer number 9 okay what are the sources of uh, noise pollution it can be the machines like generators the boring machines is it any kind of machine sound of the machines maybe you know sometimes the washing machines but these are the very feeble sound you know the, the machines which produces very feeble sound which one the mixer grinder the uh, washing machine but the generator oh my god it's life taking you know so uh, it is just Uh, unbearable so that uh, noise of the generator okay that boring sound continuously that because you know time is also more is it mixer if like uh, suppose uh, you are getting irritated by the mixer but we have an option is it either we can move to another room and even the mixer can not be used continuously for the whole day nobody will use it is it it be for 1 minute 2 minutes more most for 5 minutes but this generators and the boring machine are the one which really kills the person isn't it so this is the one then the loud speakers uh during certain functions maybe during the uh, this one you know for the advertisement uh when the this loud speakers are used oh my god again it gives a severe headache isn't it okay what else can be the cause of noise pollution uh you know it can be the loud music which is being played um, 
in due in certain functions maybe due to the marriage or something like that. So, even it give rise to lot of it creates lot of noise pollution is not it. So, all these are the reasons which are the examples of noise pollution may be jet planes, but you know jet planes and all this thing the noise of the planes uh, can irritate the person who just stays very nearby to aerodromes is not it. Because uh, the person who, sto who stays very close by there only the intensity of these uh, sound ok which one the planes and all this is very high is not it or is if we are living somewhere else in the city. So, we would not be able to hear such kind of noises, but yeah the one who stays very close uh, to the aerodromes definitely then the these kind of noise uh, can also be uh, so you know it is a also a source of noise pollution. And definitely see in the question it is asked nearby your areas, what is the question children? Sources of noise pollution in your surroundings, so definitely uh, that is the reason I am saying that if you stay near the area near the aerodromes then it can be a source of noise pollution for you. So, it depends from surrounding to surrounding depends from person to person where the person stays is not it, but in journal uh, we will talk about. So, the sound of the machines the sound of the loudspeakers these are some of the examples which are uh, creating lot of noise is not it. So, this one is answer number 9 ok. So, sound of machines like generators ok. Then sound produced by vehicles is not it whatever if the person is a person is staying just in between city. So, uh, there will be heavy uh, you know traffic and that traffic sound will be there honking is not it. So, sound produced by buses, cars etcetera is not it now. Then again sound produced during festivals by use of loudspeakers ok. So, this is again what a source of what sound pollution is not it. So, these all are the sources of sound pollution and there can be many is not it depending upon the surrounding depending sometimes even with the, the if the neighbor you know the person who is uh, uh, you know just uh, he is staying just nearby to us and uh, if he start playing very loud music even that can be a noise pollution for us. So, it depends upon the person where he stays it depends upon the surrounding ok it also depends upon the particular you know sometimes upon the neighbors also ok if the neighbors are not good and they keep on playing lot of uh, loud music whole day then definitely that is also a cause of noise pollution is it. So, this was our question number I think so 9 that write down the sources of noise pollution in your surrounding. So, these all are the very very common sources of noise pollution in our surrounding. Now, we will talk about next question children for that again please note this down. So, that I can move to the next question. Now, we will talk about question number 10. So, question number 10 is explain in what ways noise pollution is harmful to humans ok. So, we have discussed the causes of the noise pollution ok. Now, what can be the consequences ok they are talking about the consequences they are asking about what can be the consequences of noise pollution. So, uh, what can be the consequences it can give headache it can see if uh, someone you know is playing music continuously just on your head and you want to sleep can you sleep 
okay if the tv is on and that on the full volume can you sleep that means it brings it interrupts the sleep also isn't it so it it will give rise to headache also sleep will be disturbed okay irritation it will give rise to frustration you know it give rise to really it give rise to irritation uh, continuously if somebody is even you know sometimes the if the person is talking uh, very loudly that also becomes unbearable at least for me you know somebody is talking very you nice know, talking very uh, loudly oh i always say please speak little softer you know because this also irritates has to be soft isn't it so it can uh, make a person sleepless or disturbs the sleep gives headache okay give tension also hypertension so all these are the consequence consequences of the noise pollution so what is the question where is the question children okay explain in what way noise pollution is harmful to humans okay this one is question number 10th that means i will write about the answer 10th okay so if it gives hypertension okay hypertension then again what does it gives it gives hypertension it gives headache okay then again what kind of stress and then hearing problem and even disturbs sleep so what are the consequences of noise pollution children the consequences of noise pollution are hypertension headache stress hearing problem and even it disturbs sleep isn't it so all these are consequences of noise pollution so uh, noise pollution is also you know see until unless we are in continuously in uh, contact of you know pollution noise pollution in uh, for long hours it is not so stressful continuously means what even if you come in contact for more than 2 hours then it becomes very uh, unbearable so what i mean to say is that suppose generator is on if it is running only for 5 minutes so it won't be a problem for you but what i mean to explain is the time period is also very very essential like to what time you are coming in uh, contact with the sound that is very very essential isn't it if somebody screams once okay but continuously if somebody screams then it will give rise to headache okay so that is very very important if 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 uh, music is being played if it is just you no know, uh, if just one song is played very loudly okay bearable but again if it is played continuously for longer time then it give rise to problem okay so what i mean to say is even the time period is very very essential that time period is essential means what to what extent the person is in contact with the noise okay now we'll talk about the next question children that is question number 11 so we'll talk about question number 11 I will write here answer number eleven. Your parents are going to buy a house. They have been offered one on the roadside and another three lanes away from the roadside. Which house would you suggest your parents should buy? Explain your answer. I'll read the question again. Your parents are going to buy a house. they have been offered one on the road side and another three lanes away from the road side which house would you suggest your parents should buy explain your answer see children uh, as just before this answer we were discussing about the planes so what did i say at that time that if your house is just close to aerodrome then the noise of the aeroplanes will be definitely a cause of headache for you people 
but like in general we do not stay you know uh, just very close to aerodrome then uh, may the 100 aeroplanes pass it, it will not create any problem for us because yeah it is going it will not be a, a source of pollution or noise pollution it will not be disturbing us. In the same way why, why it is happening soon because distance is uh, increased ok if the distance uh, of you know of between the, your house and the aerodrome is very less then it will be a problem. If distance increases the intensity of the sound will also decrease. In the same way the question is asked that your parents are interested in buying one house. So, what you will suggest to buy the house just near to the roadside or to buy the house three lines uh, you know away from the traffic the roadside. So, definitely children as it is question given to you, you should answer but still uh, see if it is very close to roadside what will happen the traffic the traffic uh, you know the sound of the uh, vehicles will be very high. The intensity will be high because it is very close to the road is not it, it is just the very very close to the roadside. So, the intensity of the noise will be very high, but when you talk about three lines away from the roadside. So, it as a distance has increased ok as the distance will increase from the house to that uh, main road. So, where the vehicles are moving. So, as the distance is more, so intensity will also get decreased is not it. So, uh, dist distance is more means what distance is decreased shit. Sorry answer pura cut kar dena mein fir se bol rahe ho. So, now we will talk about question number 11 children. Your parents are going to buy a house they have been offered one or the roadside and another three lengths away from the roadside. Which house would you suggest your parents should buy? Explain your answer. I will repeat the question to run. Your parents are going to buy a house. They have been offered one on the roadside and another three lanes away from the roadside. Which house would you suggest your parents should buy? Explain your answer. So, children as just now we have discussed what we have discussed children that suppose I was giving an example that suppose you stay near the aerodromes ok and then what will happen if you are very close to the aerodromes then day and night the planes will pass and you will come across that sound. So, time period will also increase and the intensity of the sound will also increase as you are very close to the aerodromes. This question is almost same that your parents want to purchase a house now. Two options are given. This is the this is the road. Okay. So whether the house should be you know taken over here or this over here at the distance. So it is same only children that if you are going to buy, if you suggest your parents to buy the house over here, what will happen? The noise of the vehicles will be very uh, you know it will be uh, a source of uh, you know it will give rise to a headache why because here the source what source here the vehicles the number of the vehicles um, will be more actually number of the kya ho gaya yaar shit here the distance between the road and the vehicles will be very less ok. If the distance is less so intensity will increase is it? If the distance is less then the intensity will increase and so here the sound of the vehicles will be more is not it? When you talk about three lines away here so that this distance is more is not it? The distance is increased ok. So, when the distance is increased so what will happen children? the intensity of the sound will get decrease is not it. So, with the distance the intensity of the sound will get decrease and it would not be so much uh, disturbing. So, what you will suggest children obviously, you will suggest you should actually I will not say that you will you should suggest to your parents to have a house uh, away um, three lines from the main road is not it. 
so this should be your answer and as it is asked uh, you know to uh, particularly you know you only so you are supposed to write the answer but still uh, your parents are going to buy a house they have been offered one on the roadside and another three lengths away from the roadside which house would you suggest your parents should buy and even you have to explain so we will write over here just let me rub this there will be more noise in the house just very near to the roadside ok but if the house is purchased three lines away from the road the distance between the road and house will increase and so the intensity of the sound produced by vehicles will reduce ok so what is the thing children if the person takes a house just nearby the main road the sound of the vehicles will be more but if it is little bit away from the main road so what will happen the distance will increase and so intensity of the sound will get decreased and so it won't be so much disturbing for the person who stays away from the roadside okay so this was the last question i think so so please note this down